Okay, so I'm gonna show you a quick way to use Lumenzia in Photoshop to make a saturation adjustment and then fine tune it for a realistic result. Okay, so if this is your first time here, be sure to click the subscribe button and then the notification bell to make sure that you don't miss out on any upcoming tutorials like this. All right, so let's get to it. I've got an image that I took in South Carolina on Fripp Island. Uh, I've done some good work on this already, and I want to add some saturation back into the image. So uh, I'm gonna zoom out before I start. Uh, command spacebar on my Mac, uh, command or control, and control spacebar on Windows. Uh, by the way, there's a uh, cheat sheet for Photoshop and Lumenzia keyboard shortcuts in the description of this video, so be sure to grab that. Uh, so I'm going to start with the dodge button, which is what we use to dodge and burn, obviously. But in this case, instead of dodging and burning, we're going to come over to the right hand side of this panel and come to the sponge or saturation tool. So we're going to leave it at target desaturated colors because that's what we want to do. And we're going to click saturate. And it's done a mighty fine job of saturating the image, but maybe a little bit too much. So I'm gonna come up to opacity and lower that all the way down. And what I'm focused on are the magenta colors in the sky and maybe bringing out some darker blue colors in the water. So I'm gonna slowly bring this back up to where I like it. That's maybe a little bit too much back down a little bit there. Keep going. I think that's probably really good right there. Um, so now I can turn this layer off and on just to see that's where we started back on off and there you go done a very nice job of saturating uh, the image without totally oversaturating it and we can refine that very easily using the sponge saturation tool in Lumenzia so again if you like this video please click subscribe and turn on notifications we'll see you in another tutorial.